Hey, everybody. Let's talk today about understanding the Strega's path. What is Italian witchcraft and folk magic? If you've seen a lot of the nonsense that gets peddled as Italian witchcraft on the internet and thought, man, this smells an awful lot like Wicca with Italian herbs and seasoning sprinkled on it, you're right. And that's not remotely what Italian magical practice is about. Hey guys, I'm the Strega Mystica, John Michael Salvato, and I've been a practitioner of Italian witchcraft and folk magic for 54 years. So why are people pretending to teach Italian witchcraft or folk magic when they're really peddling regurgitated neo-pagan religious fantasy or Hollywood make-believe? I think there's three reasons. One, they don't know the difference between the magical practices of the ancient world and modern adaptations and plagiarized Wiccan-inspired New Age Hocus Pocus. Italian magical practice is usually taught within a family and never shared with outsiders. And sadly, when our ancestors moved to the United States, they weren't always warmly welcomed and society, as well as the church, oppressed them, made them feel fearful of, of being outcasts for their esoteric and mystical practices and beliefs. So they didn't talk about it to younger generations. Two, the nonsensical woo-woo magic of Hollywood and pop culture, which is sells more books, it sells more videos and workshops. And serious magical practitioners know that the people who are getting featured on daytime television and reality shows as celebrity witches are mostly bullshit merchants, ped peddling embarrassingly nonsensical new age lies and when, when they were really nothing more than, than attention whores looking for their next TV appearance. And three, peddling something that looks and is based on Wicca and other 20th century neo-pagan religions allows the people teaching it to manipulate and control people the very way that every religion in history has always done. And that's why they'll never admit that an authentic Italian witchcraft or magical practice was never about religion, was focused solely on self-mastery, learning to focus your innate power and spiritual uh, esoteric autonomy.